Back at it again. Oh, hold on. What's this? Back at it again. What's up, guys? Your boy Big G54 coming back at you again. Um, I gotta give it go to AutoZone, y'all, because I got something special I want to show y'all. Oh yeah, by the way, um, I haven't posted up like any videos like on my hair or anything like that or anything. As you can see, it's kind of a little fur, but it, it, it'll be all right. I'm trying to keep it up for the end of the month, because the end of the month, that's when I'm going to go get everything retwisted again. And I'll show you all that content. Um, but we're about to go to AutoZone. We're about to get some stuff. And then I'm going to show you all the surprise, what I got. So, what's up, guys? What's up, guys? So, I know I told y'all we were going to AutoZone, but I actually went to the dollar store. To pick up some stuff. Hold up, let me see if I can show y'all. Can I show y'all? Bam. Went to the dollar store to show y'all some stuff. But um anyway, I ended up picking up some glasses. Got this. Got some of this. Everybody needs this. Well, not everybody, but I choose to use that. What else? What else? Got this, and I also got some tire shine. So I'm about to show y'all what we do when we get back at the house. But right now I gotta make one more complete stop. I think I'm gonna go over here to uh, Pet Boys and see if they got it over here. If they don't, then we probably be going to AutoZone. But hopefully they got it there later. So we here at Pet Boys. Hopefully, got what we're looking for. We're about to find out. Uh, trying to get back at it again. Trying to get back at it again. So I just got finished coming out of Pet Boys, y'all. And we picked up some foam gun cleaner or engine cleaner. We also picked up. Two of these, two different grits, uh, 80 grit and 180 grit for us to get some surface rust off, some masking tape, and also some gloss paint for to stop the rust after I get finished cleaning it up. So we're on our way back to show you the surprise. Stay tuned. So anyway, I'm going to show y'all what I got by my damn self. It's a 2001 Tahoe. So it's a 2001 Chevy Tahoe. Yeah, it's got a dent right there. But we're going to get that fixed. Bird poop. I washed it Sunday, honestly. And here it is now Thursday. Bird poop hit it. <laughs> I guess during the week. But we're going to take care of that sometime this week. Um, I want to address something right now. These lights, they a little faded out. But we're going to take care of that too. We're going to bring that back to life. You know, good tread. Good tread on it. Yeah. Windows, no crack, no nothing. Of course, we're going to paint that. Bad. These things are stupid. I do not like them. I tried to use it for the video, but it just didn't work out. So whatever. The inside material, good, good doors, good floors. I cleaned it up on Sunday. I might hit them again. Seat is furred, but we're gonna work with it. We're gonna work with this seat. Um, let me show y'all the biggest thing I want biggest thing I was happy about no I already changed the oil yesterday I guess I just gotta reset it I gotta figure out how to do that I gotta check engine light on for two O2 centers and a Cadillac converter but we're gonna try something else and see if I can run some cleaner through to clean it up Two back seats. I redid the floor, so all the windows go down with no problem. 
But all in all, the material is clean. Cleaned it up. Looks good. Put a little bit of my junk back in there. I'm going to hit this on rest later on today. Might just do a little touch up. I don't know. I'll see how I feel. But the reason why we got most of the stuff is because of this. I want to clean up this. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that. That surface rust. We're going to clean it and try to bring it back to the loo. Then also, the 5.3 liter V8. But yeah, we're gonna be cleaning this out today too. I'm not a big fan of cleaning the inside engine bay for the simple fact it's too many wires for me. Things get short out, things can go once you go clean, clean it. But we're gonna try it. If something happens today, it'll be my fault. That's how I look at it. But all in all, the truck is good. We will fix that soon. We will have fog lights back on the bottom soon, and we will clean up the lights very, very soon. Plus, I got some other parts I got to order for this thing. I believe I did a total of rough, I think like a total of everything. The truck drives fine and everything as is, but I want to get it back to good car status, so I think I need to draw something in life, more like $2,000 into it. And just just because on my personal awareness and some things I want to get fixed. So most of this right here, I believe it's like surface rust from the trail hook. I basically want to clean all of that. That ain't no tire back here either. And it's rust right there too. Oh well. What can you say? It's a towel. But yeah, we're going to worry about trying to focus on cleaning this. Just don't need nothing really big. Just something to clean it up. And keep it moving. So, let's get right back. Okay, y'all. So, this is the best I can get it off. With, I believe, this is 180 grit. But, that was the best I can get it off with. I just basically want to scuff it up. I mean, a real professional will go a little further than this, honestly. But, I'm not no real good professional, but, yeah. I might try to fool around for a little bit more before I lay down this paint and see if I can get it to clean up a little bit more better. So, okay, so I want to let y'all know... Alright, so I want to let y'all guys know, the last sandpaper I used was 80 grit. This is 180 grit right here. I'm going to try this and see how much it cleans it up and how much more fine it brings it down. Um, but if it cleans it up, I'm going to show y'all the after effects of that. Hopefully it comes out real good. I'm not looking for nothing really perfect, but I believe for right now this is going to be good enough. To try to save the little bit of it that I can save. I mean, it's a Chevy Tahoe. Like I said, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm just looking for decency. I think I'm going to have to replace this. I'm not really sure yet. I have to test it out, see if it really works. Hopefully it still works. If it don't, I have to replace that too. But, um, yeah. I'm about to lay down the paint. And go from there. It's a little windy out here, so... I'm kind of wondering if I should do that. Oh yeah, since I'm right here, I got to get like two little vet holders in the back here. So I got to basically replace like four of them, possibly try to clean up that top. Uh, yeah, it's not a lot of work, but it's a lot of work, but not really. It's decent versus some of the ones I have seen in the past or recently. Especially. All right, so now I got it all taped off. Like I said, it ain't perfect, but it's taped. And I ain't worried about it being perfect. Just worried about this paint job. So now I'm about to paint it though. Um, and I'll let y'all know how it comes out. Okay, y'all, so this is the first code for paint. 
let it dry for like 20 minutes and then I'm gonna put another coat onto it like I said I'm not really looking for perfection I'm just looking for no I'm about to do it now so I just got finished putting down the first coat let it dry for like 20 30 minutes and come back at it and I'm gonna hit it with another coat like I said I'm not looking for perfections just looking for something that's decent and that to me looks like it's decent so now since I'm waiting for that to dry I'm going to try to clean out this uh, I'm gonna wrap like all my coilover packs and stuff like that anything with electrical that looks like to me is kind of exposed wrap it with aluminum foil spray down the engine bay wash it down we'll see how it comes out but let's see yeah like all this electrical stuff right here I don't know I'm not hitting the alternator I'm trying to stay away from when I go to clean it but all like that back there Leave them to fall, so I'm gonna show y'all. Come back, well, I'm not really show y'all, but come back with that. Okay, so I didn't put it on everything, but as you can see, aluminum foil on all the exposed connections. Now, but to use these two wonderful things, awesome, spray it with the awesome first, then spray it with the engine cleaner, let it sit for a few minutes. We'll see what it do. Oh, and by the way, I'm starting my vehicle. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of it. Something my father was getting ready to do. Something I didn't know about. He was getting ready to do it. But um, I sat on, went on and took initiative to do it myself. So, yeah. I'm going to let y'all know in a minute. See how it goes. Well, hold on. Because he definitely was going to do that this morning without me even knowing and tell me about it. But... I figure if I'm going, if it's going to mess up, let it mess up beneath of me. So, as you can see, I'm spraying it down. I don't think I should be spraying all over that out there. But I am going to try to get down all over here. Hit this. Hit all that. All right, y'all, so I sprayed it down with most of the stuff I was telling y'all about. I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes and then come back and wash it. Got to get all, like, this little bit of stuff out of there. But like I said, let's see what it's going to do. All right, y'all, so this is the next finished product. Yo, it looks way better than it does on this camera for what it, where I got it cleaned up and turned out to be. I know I still left some of that in there. I can't get to all of that, but I got to most of it. I put armor on here, and I think it's black ice I put on there. If I'm not mistaken, it's um, armor. But yeah, it came out good. I'm going to hit this spot again. I got the rag. I got the rag over there. But I think it came out good. And I gotta check my cooling again, make sure that's still good. I even got down to here a little bit. All right, so we're gonna I'm gonna get back with y'all and let y'all know how that toe in came out. So, oh no, it kind of came out all right. Like I said, I'm about to hit it with the next code, a black, and that's about it, y'all. It looks like it's about to rain out here, so I'm trying to wrap this up. I'm going to do really good detail this time, though. If you like the video I did today, leave a like if you like it. Leave a comment. Subscribe. You know, everything else. You guys have a good and blessed day. Um, oh, yeah, anyway, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I had a good one coming for y'all. Peace out. Enjoy. Have a blessed day.